is going on, guys? My name is Nips, aka Sir Mancer, and we're bringing you a Sun and Moon video, a showcase on a Lola Marowak. Why it should be ran the way I say it should be ran, and if you don't like that, alternate forms to that, alternate move sets to that, and um. Basically, while Omarik is gonna be a great mon, now being the Fire Ghost typing, what a buff that is for him. Nothing, cr not a crazy buff, but infinitely better than what he was in previous generations. And um, if you don't care about what I'm gonna say, my logic behind the thing in the description down below will be the EVs, the IVs, and the uh, move set. If you don't, if you don't, for the too long didn't watch uh, versions down below. If you want to hear the logic of what I'm saying right now, the math and the numbers, stay tuned, guys, because we'll get to that right now. So ideally, your Alola Marek will want to be Jolly Nature, in my opinion. Max speed EVs, max attack EVs, which means 252 points into its sec, 252 points into speed. The ability will be Lightning Rod. The one you see down below is an in-game Marek, a, a playthrough Marek, not really a competitive one. You can tell about the EVs right over there. That blue little diamond thingy bobber is representing the EVs. Not what you want. What you do want is what I said, max attack, max speed, Lightning Rod ability. With that being said, uh, with Marek having Lightning Rod ability, you will have three immunities. You will be immune to go um, fighting attacks. You will be immune to normal attacks, and you will be immune to electric attacks. You will have three immunities with a low Marek with the Lightning Rod ability. Now, being the Fire Ghost typing, you have seven resistances, folks. You have seven things that you never resist. Being, uh, you resist fire, grass. Ice, Poison, Bug by 4, uh, Steel, and Fairy. Evans on Steel and Fairy, because those are really good typings right now. So, um, being immune to those plus 5 others, not immune, but being immune to those plus 5 others, having 7 minions in total, uh, resistance in total now is absolutely great for a lower Mac. Basically, the same thing as Chandelier, but a physical version of Chandelier, much slower. They both have their niche roles. And today, I explain to you why my little America set is what it is right down below. Flame Charge, Boomerang, Shadow Bone, Flare Blitz, Ghost DMZ, nah, nah, nah. Like I said, it's a playthrough Marek. That should be a thick club. Why thick club? Well, let's quench the numbers right now, guys. The attack stat for a Jolly Marek at level 50 is 132. With a thick club, that becomes 264. You are going to be hitting like a freaking truck on steroids, boys. You're going to be beep, beep, boom, right through the competition with Alarm Max attack stat being 264. Now, speed stat, 106 at level 50. Nothing crazy. Nothing great, to be honest. Honestly, it's piss poor. But, Flame Charge. My friend, Flame Charge over here. 50 base power. Cloak yourself in a flame. Hit your opponent. Boom. Your speed stat goes up by one stage, which is 1.5, a.k.a. 53 points from 106 plus 53, you go to 159 at plus one. Ideally, you want to read and attack your opponent. You want to you read your opponent. He goes to electric attack. He goes into a Pokemon that uh, Lomarek scares out. He goes for, I don't know what. You want to get some kind of read to Lomarek, put your opponent in a bad situation, or maybe you should, uh, I'd speed a slow Pokemon already, and you should get a Flame Charge off. But basically what I'm trying to say is, you want to put yourself in a situation where Flame Charge will be used uh, efficiently, no, not too many worries, or you can just let an attack with a flame charge, and then, um, get your speed boost, outspeed it, and kill it, or kill a flame charge, get the speed boost, and the speed boost of Pokemon is gonna come in, but basically what I'm trying to say here again, guys, is get that flame charge off. Being the fire typing, you now have access to flame charge, which, which boosts your speed by one stage if you get it off. It's stab, it's, a, it's basically a sin five power with the stab boost, uh, and with the thick club boost as well, it's gonna hit a lot harder than you would think. Now, Flame Charge is that in a nutshell. Boomerang! Why Boomerang over EQ? Boomerang hits twice, breaks sashes, breaks sturdies, two chances to crit instead of one. If you want, you can run EQ for the guaranteed accuracy, but I like Boomerang a lot better. It gives you coverage for the fire Pokemon. It gives you coverage against uh, Pokemon that are weak to ground, as well that are fire Pokemon, such as maybe in, you're in the UU tier, and you're going against maybe a Nidoqueen. That's uh, maybe going to be a bulky poison type. I don't know who. But Boomerang, you're going to be doing some good damage to them with a Zout. Hitting twice, thicker boost. Boost, they will drop, friends. Trust me. I use regular Boomerang a lot in VGC back in 2014, 2015 in Trick Room Teams. Thick Club and Merrick is not uh, is a force back with, guys. You don't want to mess around with a low, a low Merrick in the field with a Thick Club boost that got speed you. All right? 
So if you get two flame charges off, your speed would be over 200. You can speed basically any mon non scarfed, and, and then your high attack stat is going to be sweeping things left and right. So if you get two flame charges off, you can sweep your opponent's team possibly, possibly to what their uh, team is. Now, Shadow Bone. Self explanatory. Uh, you only go physical stab you got. Basically, what this does 85 base power with stab, it rounds down. It'll be roughly plus 42 and a half. You do the math, guys. That's like 127 ish with stab. Um, and then, uh, uh, what we could do is this may lower your opponent's defense stat by one stage if you, if you hit with a Shadow Bone. And if you do that, so you get, you get a read, you go Shadow Bone, they bring somebody, the defense drops, you kill the next turn. I don't care. You're Thick Club boosted, they're Nego in defense, you're killing somebody, which was in a bad shape, which will allow you to get, either get a free flame charge as they're more inclined to switch out with the defense being dropped, or you just kill them with a flame charge or another Shadow Bone, whatever it may be. And then uh, that is that, folks. Nothing really to explain about, about Shadow Bone right there. And then last but not least, Flare Blitz, the strongest fire attack physical move in the game, barring Z moves. Um, with a Thick Club, you're going to be hitting hard, dude. You're going to be hitting real friggin' hard with the Thick Club. Flare Blitz, uh, self-explanatory, it's Merrick's best fire stab move. It's not a Z move. And uh, if you really don't want to run Thick Club, you can run the fire Z move. Like I said, guys, I'm pretty sure uh, Flare Blitz, Thick Club boosted will be just as strong, if not a little stronger, than the Fire Z move. But, um, I didn't do the math in that, don't call me on that, but I'm just gonna assume. Because Thick, Thick Club literally doubles your attack. And, uh, say the Fire Z move is base 200 with, uh, Flare Blitz, uh, using, using it with Flare Blitz. Uh, you, you guys can do the math, but I may be wrong with that, but that's, that's not the point. The point is, Thick Club is the item you want. Uh, now, if you're saying you're to yourself, Nips, I don't want to run Flame Charge. I want to run a, maybe a Bulk Marak with max HP, max attack, or... I just don't like Flame Charge in general. Or Flare Blitz. Well, alternates. You don't like Boomerang at all either. Uh, you can run EQ. Other options for Marak. You can run Rock to Lower your opponent's speed stat. Hit those flying mons that avoid Boomerang. But you do have Shadow Bone and Flare Blitz for that now. But that's the size of the point. You run Rock Tomb. Go ahead. Hit your Burst. Hit your Flying type Pokemon. Hit your Talon Flame with uh, Times for a Rock move. Um, what else? You run Knock your opponent's items. You go Knock Off. You want the Dark Z move. You run Knock Off with this bad boy. Boom. There you go. You got it. You need dark coverage for whatever reason. You want, you're in a league. You know a dark move is going to be crucial to you. You run uh, the dark Z move over a thick bone to make sure you get that big damage off. I don't know. You get knockoff. Uh, you get thunder punch as well. You want to hit those water Pokemon. Thunder punch. You know that's not a bad option at all. Thunder punch. Thick club boosted. Give it a boomerang for it. Or a flame charge for it. Hey. Be my guest guys. Go for it. But it, what I'm saying right now. The best moveset for Lower America is going to be the flame charge moveset. Boosted speed. I have two flame charges to the thick and, and the thick club. You're going to be doing a lot of damage. Potentially sweep your opponent's team with the Laura Marowak. And um, uh, to sum it up, guys, basically what I want to say here, you run 252 with sack, 252 speed, Jolly Nature, Lightning Rod ability. So you get those, it gives you those three minutes instead of two. Um, and with that being said, guys, let me know what you think down below how you should run a Laura Marowak. Don't agree with me? Awesome, great. Let's discuss it down below in the comments. And um, that's it, guys. That's my little Americ. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna actually go breed one or try to be one. Forget what the whole this, the EV trainer one that is a mess right now, but uh, I'm gonna try to figure everything out. So, as always, guys, I'm Nips, aka Sir Mancer. And if you enjoyed this video, show some love to that like button and make sure you subscribe down below. So you don't miss out any Sun and Move competitive, uh, competitive videos. I'm gonna be doing a lot, guys, at least one a day, explaining why Poker should be ran the way I, I have it right down below. And if you don't agree with me, that's awesome. Let's have a friendly discussion down below. As always, guys, I'm Nips, a.k.a. Sir Mancer. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.